hey love, hey love, hey love. Jesse C love, teacher love, coach love, magnanimous Monday to you. November 8th, 2021, day number 312, which means there are 53 days left in 2021. This is the Save Our Marriage Empowerment segment. And some of the ways we do that is with prayer, reflection, inspiration, courageous conversation, encouragement, enlightenment. This morning, this early daylight time, got to get away from saying morning because, you know, it's sadness. Morning, yeah, sadness. I don't want to do that. I'm going to give you the LDD first. Come back in a couple hours, maybe, I guess, for the other one. I think this is episode 296. And it says that love doesn't build weapons. The Song of Solomon 516 reads that this is my love and this is my friend. A higher power commands husbands and wives to meet <laughs> we still in that to meet each other's sexual needs first corinthians 7 3 through 5 this is not a suggestion wow it's a command part of your promise when you agreed to enter into marriage was to lovingly tend to the needs of your mate oh my gosh you also gave them your body as their holy possession Ooh, I said, oh my gosh, because I'm working on a part of the memoir of the book that I've been attempting to release for the last four years. And it's dealing with this specific part in it right now as I go back through it. <sighs> mm -mm. When you are in holy matrimony, that's different. You know, that's when you share your body willingly and within reason. It's different when you're not in holy matrimony and someone expects you to do it. That, that ain't your right. It ain't at all. It's quite possible that, you know, too many people have the mindset of marriage, you know, getting the benefits of marriage, but they don't want to be married. That ain't healthy. Mm -mm. Going back to the reading, it's quite possible that your spouse has not upheld their part of this commitment. They may not deserve to be treated with tenderness and acceptance. The lie? Hmm. Even if your romantic desire for them is low or non-existent, without, withholding affection will only deepen the divide between you. You may even find in returning to the marriage bed that this one concession could spark a renewal in your love for one another. So basically, this is saying that there are going to be times when there is an issue in the physical intimacy department. That's when you use wisdom to talk about it. Okay? We're not refusing our bodies to our spouses just because, you know, if there's a health issue, a health issue, that's different. We don't use sex as a weapon. We don't use it to punish. We don't use it to force an agenda. We don't use it to be in disobedience. No. When you're in a healthy marriage, you are loving one another. You're loving your body as unto our creator in accordance with the word and the love that our source gives us. If any tactics you gotta bribe you gotta manipulate if that's needed that's not healthy that's when you have to use healing and restoration you need prayer you may need to take a break between one another you may need to get some counseling you may need to go to the doctor and see what's going on okay Making love should not be painful. It should not feel like a chore. And when it's a healthy marriage, it doesn't. Yeah. The prayer says, Lord, give us your view of our bodies, that our intimacy is shared in joy and fulfilling love. Bind us together in heart that we truly enjoy the gift of you that you have given us to experience mm, mm, mm. I don't know how much more we're going to be into 
physical intimacy, I, intimacy as I like to say, because I don't know if saying SEX is going to get this blocked or not. That may be why a couple of them didn't load. I don't know. Nevertheless, I do appreciate your time. Thank you for tuning in. I think this is episode 296 of 365 for day 312 of the year. Make it a lovely day, not just for you. Find someone else and help them have a lovely day too. Singles, you start with self and then give it to someone else. For the married, you start with self, give it to your spouse and let it radiate throughout the house. And if it takes a little bit more romance in that department and if it takes getting some lubricant to help ease the situation or you may not be as stiff as you need you know get some of that maca root and tonka ali that'll help not with just intimacy it'll help with the mood Mm -hmm. consult your doctor of course first just in case you're on something that may interfere with those natural supplements as much as lies within you do no harm and be love